management style, leadership style, needs to be adapted to the situation. In my career, I've been uh, called the Democrat and the dictator. Uh, in a turnaround situation, in particular, when you're managing through a crisis, uh, I think sometimes you have to uh, be dictatorial. Uh, whereas when you're in a mature situation, uh, the opportunity to build consensus and, and uh, have a more participatory uh, approach to management and leadership is possible. But I, I think at the end of the day, it really depends on the situation and you need to adapt to the individual as well as the circumstances. If people ask me, what's my job as a CEO? Mm -hmm. It's simple. It's solving problems every day. Uh, and it's bringing people together to solve those problems and try to inspire people to work uh, together to achieve uh, whatever the goal is. And, uh, and I think yeah. common sense really comes home to roost. Uh, I, have, I have an old saying that I use quite a bit, common sense should be common practice. And uh, when you work as part of a team, I think uh, trying to be pragmatic and find solutions together uh, is always the best recipe for success. Uh, a leader has to create an environment where people will tell you what they really think. Uh, and I always say, don't tell me what I want to hear. Tell me what I need to hear. And uh, that is, uh, I think, uh, the most important quality of a leader, not just the respect aspect, but creating a safe environment to tell the truth. And what people expect from their leaders is uh, um, to be treated with respect and uh, to um, be able to uh, um, operate in an environment of safety. I think the most important thing I learned uh, through the MBA program at Rutgers was uh, teamwork. At the time there was the interfunctional management program where we worked uh, for a company and we worked as a team to solve a problem and we did that collectively under the leadership of, uh, of a, uh, a former executive from McGraw Hill, John Cave. And that, uh, you know, gave us some practical experience in problem solving. But people really are what define, uh, you know, what an institution is. And uh, Rutgers, uh, back in the 80s when I started my MBA and in 97 when I finished it, uh, have uh, always had uh, great faculty as well as uh, great students. So that's uh, the most important thing I left with. Thank you. Thanks.